This conference will now be recorded. In this session, we'll learn about how we can actually connect database to Excel. That is how to extract data from a database and take it to my Excel sheet. Also, we'll see some more options. That is how to insert data from Excel to database. And also, we'll see how we can modify the data which is there in the database by using this BBA, that is Excel macros. And also, we'll see how we can delete the records which is there in the database. So it is actually very simple. Many of them actually think that uh, it is very complex. But if you want to do this, first you have to understand which database we are connecting and what all the objects we have to use. So we'll go to this editor and few steps you have to follow. So it is very simple if you follow those steps, connection between Excel and the database is very simple. Let's name this as WKS data, just named it as WKS data and I'll copy this and paste it here, done. I'll insert a module, we'll name it as mod underscore db connection now few steps i'll just tell you so just follow those steps it will be very easy to connect from excel to any database first thing is we are connecting with the access database let's go here i'll say first we'll, we should go to this tools reference and we'll enable the database libraries that is activex libraries let's scroll down here we have this Microsoft ActiveX library. So here we have this ActiveX data objects 2.8, 6.1. Anything you can take, I'll just take this 2.8. If you want, you can take this 6.1 also. Let's say okay. The first thing you have to do because if you want to connect to Access, then I have to first enable the library which will actually connect from Excel to Access. Second step is we have to write the program in that we have to assign or say we have to declare a few objects that is few variables for some object say we go your sub and we'll say connect db i'll say select first we'll see how we can select the data from the access database take the data and paste it in my excel sheet so what all things actually we should do see first thing is we need to get the path that is where this database is available. Second thing is the provider. I'll tell you what is this provider. And third is the connection string. So these three are first important. First, what we'll do, we'll take the path. So for that, I'll declare one variable str path as string. All right. Next is the provider. Provider is actually a kind of a name which we have to give for the uh, database provider. Say what will happen is if you want to connect, there will be something called as engine where it will get connected. So we have to provide that name which helps us in connecting the database. So for that, I'll say Tim and we'll say str provider as string. Next one is the connection string. This connection string is a string which will help us in connecting between the Excel application with the access application. Say, team str connection as string. So first you have to declare these three steps. That is these three variables. One is path, provider, and the connection. The next is we need to have the database connection i'll say connection so for this i'll say dim connection as new connection so i'm just going step by step so that it will be easy for you to understand next one is the record set so what is this record set record set is nothing but this record so whatever record i'm actually taking from the access so for this you don't need to be master in access so I'm just telling the data what we have in access that we have to connect. So let's go here. I'll say record set. Set team RS query. 
this new record set. I'm just creating one say object here that is connection and record set. Then we need something called as query to pull the data. The query is nothing but it's a command which will help us in uh, getting the data. So here I'll declare one more variable that is SQL query. Tim str query as string. So these are the variables first we have to declare. Now what we'll do, we'll take this path. So in this case, we have the database somewhere here. We can take this, we can directly put it in my, um, say, code itself, or you can also put somewhere here in the sheet. So what I'll do, I'll just hard code it here. str path equals give the path with the database name. You have to give this database name here. The database is database go here slash database dot acc db. This acc db is nothing but the extension of the access file. Right. So we took the path. Now the provider. Let's say str provider equals. Now this provider you don't have to bother here if you are working on this continuously you can remember that otherwise that will be actually readily available so what i've done is i've put all the codes here it is microsoft dot ace dot oledb dot 12.0 so if you think that you, you want to type you can type it otherwise you can just copy it and we can paste most of the time we don't actually type that we'll copy and paste suppose if you think that if you know that clearly then you can use this dot o l e d b dot 12.0 and give a semicolon suppose if you think that you're finding it difficult to remember just keep it somewhere just copy this and we can paste it now i have the path i have this provider next is the connection string what we have to create so this is the connection string that's why i just put this step by step so that it will be easy for you to work on it next i'll say str connection equals you have to give like this say provider this is standard syntax actually ampersand then you have to give the provider name then ampersand data source data source is nothing but the data from where we are actually getting that that is the file path str path done now my path is ready provider is ready and the string connection is ready next is about creating this connection that is you have to open that connection what you have created so this connection open what it will do will just try to connect by using this string so here we'll say connection let's say connection open right so here we'll say connection what you have created here this we have declared this connection dot open it lasts for this string the string is nothing but this one the string connection what you have created now as i mentioned always try to execute this and see if this works till now that means my code is right use this f8 no errors that means my connection is working now after this we have to get the query that is sql query this sql query if you know it is fine if you don't know sql query is nothing but it's a command which will help us in fetching the data or deleting the data from the database or inserting or updating of the data. So for your practice purpose, I just gave, I've just given the SQL query here. If you can, uh, if you know SQL query, whatever queries you know, you just put it there. Otherwise you can just take this query and you can work on this. But to make it very simple, it is nothing but just selecting the data from the table. Here I have this table orders. I'm trying to select the data. I'm just saying select star from orders. Suppose if you think that you know SQL query, you just type it and work on it. Otherwise, I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here in the code. All right, so this is the query. Next up is to open the record set. So what is open record set? Say what will happen is this query is there. So this has to run in access if you want to run that directly if you are in access you can run this but we are trying to run this by uh, say vba code 
so for that we have to mention rs query dot open then last for the source source is nothing but the query what we are actually trying to pass a str query comma str query comma it lasts for the connection we'll say this connection this connection now let's run this it's working fine when this code runs this line runs there is a query which will run and the record set is opened means there is a record set now i need to copy this and paste it in my excel sheet that is here in this wks data in a1 i need to paste now what we'll do we'll go here after this we need to copy and paste that is we have this something called as copy from record set it's not that just paste it so this record set whatever is there that query rs query what we've created that has to get pasted in my sheet so let's go here and say wks data dot range of a1 dot copy from record set and here it lasts for the data that is rs query this is my query which we just got where the data set is available that is the record set is available now let's run this now if you go to this excel sheet and see the data whatever was there in this access sheet completely will get copied and it'll get pasted here so whatever data is available here in this database that will get copied and pasted it's such easy actually it is really very easy only thing is you have to just follow the steps one is path provider connection these three things then after that connection and record set is the object what you have to declare and then the query whatever is there it can be any query say it can be uh, select query it can be delete query or anything this if you note from year till year then you can connect any database after that depends on the query so what i have done i have put all the queries here you can just check this and you can work on it next test suppose if you want to insert some data i'll just copy this let me just copy this entire code just paste it here and i'll make it as insert Now the same query we'll use, but this time we'll not give this query. We'll try to give the query for insert. I'll just go here. We'll remove all this because now we are actually inserting the data directly to the access. We are not inserting data in the Excel sheet. So for that, this code is not required because we are not copying and pasting the data in Excel sheet. And this is also not required because we are not taking the record set. If you want to get the record set, then you have to run this code. If you want to paste the record set, what you have copied, you have to give this code but this time i'm just trying to execute the query that is whatever query i'm giving here i'm just trying to execute so this query <coughs> because we are not learning access here i'm just copying this code here what it is doing it is saying insert into orders that is this is the code for inserting values and these are the columns which are available for each column i put some data here let me just copy this entire code in query and i'll just put it here now here what we have to do we have to just execute that query say connection here we have this then we have the query just run that query whatever is there so here we'll say connection dot execute and we have to give the command that is query command now if i run this code it should insert some values let's go here i'll say run now this value whatever is there this has to get inserted here let's go and check if it is insert i'll just say refresh and we'll go to the end and see you can see that the data whatever was there that gets inserted here. again if i run this code again it will get inserted here let's say i'll go here i'll make it as 9998 and here we'll make it as something else okay uh, let me run this here we'll change these values also just for testing purpose now let's execute this now if you go here to the database and say refresh you can see that just now we just gave this data so this data also got updated so likewise we can actually use this that is for inserting all right next one is updating 
when i say update so here again i'll copy this code same code only thing is we just have to change the query now if you think that i'm actually directly working on the database itself then you just say execute if you want to copy the data then use this code you can make it as a standard code and you can keep it and you can use it for any database which are connected now i want to update let's say i'll go here i'll say update here i'll just go and i'll delete this query here i have to give the update query now you might get confused because you might not knowing uh, this sql queries if you don't know then don't worry about it if you know then you can write your own code let's go here i'll say update so here i have the update query where i can say update state wherever it is california i want to change that to cal so let's go here i'll copy this data say sorry the query and i'll paste it here see i didn't do any changes i just changed only the query here so once you learn how to connect the next is just updating only this query now let's go here i'll run this query and if you go here all the california should be cal <clears throat> you can see that all the california got changed to cal here all right similarly if you want to delete something let's go here copy this put it here and i'll say delete now the delete query is exactly similar to our uh, select say select star from something you're given here i'll just say delete star from so all the code is there i'll just copy that query so delete star from orders where region equals south. so here what it will do is it will delete all the records which are from south in this table so it will go here and wherever we have south all those records will be deleted let's go back and i'll execute this if you go and check now here i'll not have that south region now this code can be used for any other uh, say you know uh, uh, dashboard as well or uh, anywhere if you want to connect some database so if you say this i've covered this select insert update and delete these are the main four queries what we actually work so suppose if you think that you want to work on anything or if you want to update or if you want to delete or if you want to select the data you can use this code like this so for this if you know sql it will be very good if you don't know then again you have to go and check the queries what you're actually trying to do and you can connect it and you can work on it so this is all about how you can actually connect from excel to database